Kia ora na. <laughs> Welcome back to Rarotonga. So today is going to be all about the food. We've kind of embraced some, oh I got hit in the face with a bug. We've kind of embraced some local stuff but today I think we really need to like properly lock it down. Yeah so we're talking local seafood, local drinks and we're hoping to also get to some night markets. Oh yeah that'd be cool because we've heard that there Kind of small but like a really interesting local twist on it. The first meal that we really want to try is called Ikamata and uh, the place that we had been told to go to actually... Actually two only... of them, two of them are closed so there's the Pacific Fish and Chip Shop oh, and that's the right. Roaring Fish Cafe. Oh, um, walked into a pole man, this is going great for me. Both of them closed. Both of them are closed. Well, no, sorry. One of them only serves it on Sundays. So oh, that's right. So, we're lucky. We found out that the resort that we're staying at, which we showed in our last video, has it on their menu, and we can kind of sit there looking out across the pool, look out across the ocean. So that's going to be the first meal anyway. You okay here? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. So this is called ikemata and basically it is a raw fish prepared in a coconut cream or a coconut milk and they first of all take the raw fish which is normally tuna I think. Yeah I think this is tuna as well. Um, and then they put some lemon juice or lime juice on it so it kind of starts cooking in the acid and then they add in the coconut milk and then also vegetables. Carrot, um, onion, yeah, there's an onion in tomato, this one. sometimes cucumber, I can't see what else is in there. But it also has come with the side of taro, which I think Dane's <laughs> going to try, I'll but try I've that. got the fish to try first. So this is like the most local dish when, from our research. This is like the most local thing that we could possibly find. Mm. It's really nice. Yeah? Mm. It's really, um, really lemony, really zingy. It tastes to me like, it's like an island's uh, ceviche. So I got thick, chunky um, tuna in there, and it's a lot softer than I thought it would be, considering that it hasn't been cooked. I've never had anything like that before, but I quite like it. I have had taro before from my rugby days, but I don't remember really what it tastes like. And this is a unique way of doing it because they mashed it. Was that right? Mm -hmm. It's mashed up, chopped, and then deep fried on the outside. So it's supposed to be soft in the middle and crispy on the outside. Mmm. It's almost like sticky. The texture. I'd say it's, it falls somewhere in between Kumra and, or sorry, that's New Zealand, uh, New Zealand sweet speak, potato. sweet potato and potato in the sense that it's like, it's sweeter than a potato, but not as sweet as sweet potato. That's the traditional meal done. I actually really enjoyed that. Super fresh, really light, um, and luckily not too heavy as well because it kind of is just our entree because the food has to continue. <laughs> yes, so we don't want to eat too much just then, but we also got a local recommendation for a place called Villy's Burgers, and apparently these burgers are epic. Mm. They must be too, because they don't have any big fast food no. chains here. No, the locals keep telling us about the best fish, burgers, and chicken places, because it's kind of the competition that they don't have from the big corporate brands, but Villy's it is. We'll see, we'll see about that. We're not this lazy, but that's where we're staying. And that is where we're going. <laughs> but we've got places to be afterwards, so that's why we're driving, right? Uh, Oof. Oh, finally here. What a drive. Wow, that took long enough. <laughs> oh look, there's a rooftop. We've seen little uh, blocks like this all around town actually and I don't think places like this used to exist when I came here last. Just got a, uh, a pizza joint, a bar, Billy's Burger joint, the typical postcards and sarongs, the shirts and the towel, the real Cook Island kind of theme and then that's a car rental place. That kind of summarizes every block in one way, right? what we've been seeing around the place. But this is Billy's famous burger. This is the bacon smokehouse. Stace has already had a bite. And Smoky bacon, <laughs> sure. <laughs> There's so much bacon in there. Smoky. There's like a real, I think the, ba um, the barbecue sauce is like smoky in there as well. It's actually like a brioche bun as well. I think that's the thing that I'm digging the most. The patty looks homemade as well. So I would say the locals are doing a very good job of competing with the chains of the world. Although I'd say it tastes more like Wendy's than it does McDonald's, which I'm happy about. Okay, so we'll be honest. 
there has been a few hours in between <laughs> uh, the burger place and now. Food coma. We, yeah, we're in a baby food coma. Well, it's island time as well, so we're just not, you're never in a rush to do anything. I'm driving 40Ks and it's a minute 50. It's just, that's what everyone's doing. Just taking it slow. But now we really want to try um, the local beer, which is from Rarotonga Brewery. And I want a fresh coconut because I'm on an island. Yeah. So we're going to a place called Hula Bar. We just did some quick Googling and found this place was on the beach. Um, so yeah, that's what we're up to now. Initially I thought it was like, oh, it's on the other side of the island and then I remembered, well, it's still only nine kilometers away. That's how small <laughs> this place is. It's so much nicer seeing it now that it's bright, sunny, green. Scene. I like it here. Got myself a fresh coconut. It's actually surprisingly heavy. It's a big one, isn't it? It's huge. Well, it's seven dollars, so they should, it should be full to the brim. It is full <laughs> to the brim. <laughs> Did hear the local tunes playing. We're just realizing that a lot of the places that we've been to, it was the same thing with that Trader Joe's as well, that um, the prices are all really reasonable. The beer is $5, and that's a big pour as well. Coconut was expensive, which seems a little bit odd, but in general, the alcohol prices and stuff are really cheap. And I mean, I'm guessing, but it looks like most of the people sitting up at the bar are locals and everyone kind of knows everyone is chatting. We're the only people here that appear to be tourists anyway. You get a really good balance between experiencing the local music, which is what's playing, and their scene, but at the same time, what we want from a vacation. And it kind of balances out quite nicely. I don't feel like I'm ever being um, like ripped off or like in a overly touristy kind of place, even when we're inside the resorts. And I don't think that's always the case when you travel. Is that? Oh, it's probably a plane. Oh, yeah. I thought it, I thought it was like thunder because it is looking a little bit grim up there But we literally we've come right way around the island. We're pretty much outside the airport at this point Spent a bit more time chilling out although it's not really chilling for us on trips like this when we're kind of Feels like a vacation, but we literally stop every now and then and we spend a couple of hours editing photo video having a look at everything we've got but if we haven't made you hungry and jealous yet, I think that's about to change. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to head to the Murray Night Markets, which are on like three or four times a week. This market said to have, have all kinds of stuff and lots of local things as well as like, uh, someone said the kebabs here are excellent. But we were told we have to get here at like 5 o'clock because they sell out of a whole bunch of stuff. So we've arrived at 6.30. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're really, we were still quite full that we really didn't take the time to get here early. But it doesn't actually look too busy from here. I think it's probably because it's all like been eaten already. Oh, everyone's <laughs> eaten and left. Maybe. A lot of options. So many options. I really wanted pizza, but then I was like, I can't come to a night market and eat pizza. That's that's not good enough. So we went with a coconut fish curry instead, because we figured it must be local seafood, local flavours, and it smells so good. So we didn't actually realise that there was rice buried underneath here. Like the whole base of it is rice. And then we've got beans, there's carrot, there's onion. This is the fish, like big chunks of fish, and it's really tender as well. I'd say this is definitely one of the best things that we've eaten today. And this one was only $15, and now that we've ordered one, we think that we can probably just actually share it. Although I'm sure we'll get tempted by something else after. 